Hi everybody, uh, Matt with Mike's Bikes. It's been rare for us to be able to get our hands on a bike to be able to ride and give it a, a proper test and review. So we're really excited to finally get uh, to throw a leg over the Santa Cruz Blur. Uh, it was released earlier this year, um, but finally becoming available and we got to ride one. If you've been following our videos, uh, you'll know I'm a big fan of um, whatever we're calling this category of bikes, fun country, down country, it's basically uh, an XC race bike with just a little bit of fun. So a little bit longer travel, a little bit slacker geometry. Um, and the reason why I'm so, so in love with this particular version um, of all the bikes that we've been able to ride over the last few years is it feels like this bike got both faster and funner from uh, previous bikes in this category that I've ridden. This is a re-engineered frame from the previous blur taking a ton of weight off. Um, I think over a half a pound just out of the frame alone, which is a lot when you get into bikes this light. Uh, so fully built up, we're talking about a bike that's in the low 20s uh, for pounds. As far as what they've done to the suspension from the previous blur, you'll notice there's not a pivot point back here. Um, and this part this chain stay here is designed to have some flex so that helps optimize how the suspension is supposed to perform uh, so what Santa Cruz wanted to do with this bike is make it feel lively and fast and fun under load over pedaling so they optimized um, all of the curves and the ratios so there's li very little influence of the chain on the suspension uh, so what that means when you're pedaling, pedaling hard, you're not making the suspension stiffer or start to bob. You can pedal over, you know, kind of chunky, chattery stuff and it still feels nice and plush without you losing any power or feeling any of that weird kickback. Um, so optimized suspension, obviously also removing the pivots, um, reduces things that can wear out, re helps reduce the weight, um, more simple, less things to kind of develop side to side flex. So really optimize the rear end for all of the different ways that you can totally rip on this bike. One cool thing that stands out to me when I first hopped on this bike is um, it really does borrow a lot of the modern trail geometry uh, and that doesn't ne negatively affect the race feel. Uh, so longer reach, it's got a 450 reach in the cockpit which is which is more like a trail bike, 67 degree head angle in the TR version. Um, so the bike has that sort of trail bike position. A lot of times you kind of have to pick a very specific situation where you want your bike to, to excel um, and in a race bike like this you kind of have to give up uh, fun riding, more technical riding, but what really stands out about this bike is how it feels like there's very little sacrifice to speed. You get on the power and the bike goes. It's light, it's quick, out of the saddle, uphill, the bike just feels lightning fast, but it when you get into the technical stuff, when you get into big bumps and chunks and roots, uh, it feels like you have a lot more bike than you actually do. Uh, it's only 120 in the front, 115 in the rear, but it has this fun, easy, uh, capable feel, the way it flows over a lot of the, the chunky stuff. So really a wide range of where this bike shines. You know, Santa Cruz does not want to say it's a trail bike, it's an XC bike, and it is. Its DNA is, is purely in racing, but there's a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of capability mixed in that you could take this bike to a lot of places here in Northern California, and, and the bike would shine and you'd have a lot of fun. This is the Blur TR. Uh, you can check out the specs and the numbers um, online, but I just wanted to give you a sense for how it rides, how it feels. Um, really, really impressive bike, and you're going to be able to get these um, real soon. So check them out on mikespikes.com or pop into the shop. Thanks, everybody.